Hey there and welcome to this Festival Pro tutorial video. Today we're going to take a look at Volunteer Self Select. This is a feature that's going to allow all of your volunteers to um, pick their own shifts. You can see here is an example, all of your shifts on a form. Your volunteer can choose them. And we're just going to go through the processes of um, how to make this happen. The first thing you're going to want to do is to build out your shifts. Now you can do this via the Volunteer Shifts page or via the volunteer calendar and this works very much in the same process as if you were assigning the uh, volunteers themselves um, which you would do with the plus button add more type in the name or or search your form but if you want the volunteer to pick these shifts themselves then we're going to have to go into your volunteer shifts and notice a little button at the bottom which allows you to copy to a form or a time slot now in essence, what we're going to do is take all of these shifts here and then sync them into a form, an auto login form, by which you would send to your confirmed volunteers. They would log into the form and then they would pick the time slot, which becomes these shifts here. Now we need to create that time slot somewhere. So we're going to go to our forms and create a new form. We've got one here that we made earlier called Volunteer Self Select Application Form. And in here we can see it's just a standard um, kind of a volunteer application form type thing. But the key thing is this particular field here. Please pick your shifts below. Now for the purposes of this demo, I'm actually going to create a new form from scratch in config mode. Um, I'm going to go to form show all, add new form. And in here I'm going to call this one tutorial self-select make this an auto login form create that here now we've got our auto login form created we need somewhere to import the shifts that we've created into so I'm going to add a new field and what you want to do is create a counter field and call this something that's going to be recognizable select your shift please all in capitals when you sync into this field you're going to get given a list of every counter field in your in your platform that's possible to sync this into it's good to name this something that's going to stand out and then make this one of one on your counter range number we can save that now if we go into the advanced pricing options you can see here there's tiers time slots and assets now in essence what we're going to do is create the time slots but we're going to do that instead of from the form from our volunteer shifts page and this is why this needs to be your first step because you need these created and then you make the form field to sync into and then we come back down here copy to form and time slot and as i mentioned it's going to give you a long list and i can find the one that we created Select your shift, please. And we're going to call them uh, shift by the shift name. And there we go. Simple as that. Now, if you need to edit the number of people on a shift or add new shifts, do not do this through the form. You want to come into the volunteer shifts page. Add any more shifts that you might like. Save it. And then you're going to have to copy it back over, in essence, like resyncing the two together. Now, if we have a look at our new form, tutorial self select, and come into these time slots, we can see them there. And the next step is going to be to send this to one of our volunteers. Now, this would go through an email template. So I'm going to add a new template. Select your shift and then the subject. So, hello, please follow this link to select your shifts. And then we can go into the mail merge forms and we can find our tutorial self select. Alternatively, of course, you can uh, link this by saying click here, highlighting the text, clicking the link button clicking the little up arrow and then we can find our form on this list so either way works we can add that template now we can go to our confirm volunteer 
And let's find somebody who doesn't already have a shift. So Jim Henry here. You can see he's got his availability, but he hasn't been assigned any shifts. So we're going to add him onto a couple of shifts by sending him the self-select form and letting him do it himself. So he'll get this email. Can click on the link. Here's our form. <clears throat> and here's the shifts. And it's going to tell me how many are remaining. And he can choose whichever shifts he wants to do. You can put some text in here if you like in the form to give them instructions on how many shifts to pick. And in this case, I'm just going to take this backstage Friday AM shift on the Friday. Crowd control. Saturday morning and litter Sunday a.m. Now, thank you. Let's refresh Jim's profile. And we can now see Jim is on these three shifts. And if we go to the uh, crowd control Saturday a.m. shift on our shift stats, And there's Jim. Now, if Jim needs to edit his shifts at any point, he's going to be able to revisit that email and click on the link. And can remove himself, say, from backstage, main stage Friday onto Friday traffic AM. And as he does this, it will update in his profile here. And then it will also update in your shift stats. So that's volunteer self-select. If you are unsure about anything as you're setting things up, feel free to book in a support ticket. You can do that by clicking the support button and putting general support and then choosing a time slot much like our volunteers are choosing their own shifts. Just a quick recap then on what we learned today. To have a volunteer select their own shifts, you in essence need to create your shifts first under the volunteer shifts tab or the volunteer calendar. You need to create a form where they will select their shifts and create a counter field. And on that counter field, you need to set the values to one and one and then go back to your volunteer shifts, copy to the time slot, find the one you have created, sync it over, and then create an auto login email, which you can send over to your volunteers, allowing them to log in and choose their own shifts. I hope some of you find this new module useful. And as ever, if you've got any uh, suggestions for improvement, please do let us know. Should the